So today we're going to learn another derivative rule, and that is called the product rule. So we use the product rule when we have a combination of two functions, or like two binomials, or trinomials, or polynomials multiplied together. So obviously one option would be to multiply them out, to expand them. Um, but as you look at something like this, that gets a little bit more complicated, so we need another rule here. And you simply can't just take the derivative of each piece. So to take the derivative of the product of two functions, g and h, we would first take the derivative of the first function, so g prime of x, times just the second function the way it is. Then we would add, keep the first function exactly the way it is, and take the derivative of the second function. Okay, so that's the product rule. Anytime you have the product of two functions, you are going to need to use this rule. Remember, you can't just take the derivative of each piece and multiply them together. So let's try our first example. Okay. So we're going to take the derivative of the first piece. So the derivative of the first piece is, of course, 10x minus 3. Second piece, we're going to freeze it exactly the way it is, 2x squared plus 4. Add going to keep the first one, 5x squared minus 3x, and the derivative of the second one is just the 4x. Okay, and so then we're going to have to work on expanding and simplifying a little bit. So here we're going to need to expand this out, 20x cubed plus 40x minus 6x squared minus 12. Okay, and then of course we have plus 20x cubed minus 12x squared. So if we just collect our like terms, we have 40x cubed minus 18x squared plus 40x minus 12. So that's what we do for the product rule. So let's try a couple more of these. Okay, so here in our next example, this is just a good little reminder that not to forget that this, of course, means three x squared minus four x plus two times three x squared minus four x plus two. Okay, so of course now if we're going to take the derivative, we're going to do the derivative of the first piece, which is 6x minus 4 times the second one, 3x squared minus 4x plus 2, plus keep the first one exactly the way it is, times... 6x minus 4. Okay, and of course you can see that with this one, these two terms, these two terms here are exactly alike, so we actually just have 2 times 6x minus 4 times 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So that's, of course, factored form, and of course we could expand that out into standard form, so we will do that, but if we just needed factored form, we'd be good like that. But let's do a little bit of expanding here. So I'm going to leave the 2 there. We get 18x cubed. We get minus 24x squared, x squared um, plus 12x minus 12x squared plus 16x minus 8 so 36x cubed minus no, minus 48 squared plus 24x minus 20 squared plus 32x 
minus 16. And of course here then our final answer is just 36x cubed minus 72x squared plus 56x minus 16. Okay, so, and one more of these, hopefully you can see now if we did one that looked like this, where there are three binomials, the product rule is a product of two functions together, so we would need to put two of them together first. Okay, so perhaps maybe the first one and the last one, because that one's easy to do just by looking at it. We get x squared minus 12x plus 32. How about times... 2x squared minus 3. So note, I haven't taken the derivative yet. That is still the function y. Now I can take the derivative, and of course the lazy way is to call this y prime, which is really the same of the derivative of y with respect to x, just to show you that notation again. And let's go for it. Let's take the derivative of the first. This 2x minus 12 times the second, 2x squared minus 3 plus, freeze the first, x squared, minus 12x, plus 32, and the derivative of the second is just 4x. So now we'll go ahead and we'll expand that, and there you have the final answer, okay? And let's try one more just to make you under, make sure you understand this question. So you've seen this question before. Of course, now we've made it quite a bit easier. We are going to find the slope of the tangent line to this function at x equals negative 2. Okay, so just like we did in the last unit, we can now find the derivative, only now we don't have to use first principles anymore. So we can use the product rule since we have the product of two functions. So to find the derivative here... We're going to take the derivative of the first, which is, of course, 2x plus 6, times the second, negative 4x plus 1, plus, leave the first alone, x squared plus 6x minus 3, times the derivative of the second, which is just negative 4, okay? Now, we can expand and simplify, or we can simply go straight, if you want, to evaluating the derivative at negative 2, and then we just need to watch our bed mass here to make sure we get the right answer. Okay, so we're going to get in this first bracket, we'll get negative 4 plus 6, and I of course encourage you always to pause the video and try this on your own. Second bracket, we'll get 9. In this bracket, we'll get 4 minus 12 minus 3 times negative 4. And when we continue working on that, we're going to get 18. Here we're going to get 4 minus 12 is negative 8, negative 11 times that, so plus 44, which is, of course, 62. Okay, so we're going to practice that product rule tomorrow. You, of course, want to get really, really good at this idea of the product rule before we add even more rules. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow.